Welcome to the Shortwave Radio Channel. And uh, we often talk about, you know, um, different aspects of propagation and unusual uh, propagation effects, depending on what happens. So I showed you the video that a lot of people loved about my um, SDR being on during the eclipse and showing the peaks on the medium wave band that uh, have shifted and all the stations that came in as the eclipse progressed and then fade away again. Well, there's the interesting article in Space Weather where they talk about uh, some of the um, ham site testing that they did with amateur radio. And it was found that the solar eclipse Doppler shifted the signal of WWV in Fort Collins, Colorado. And they are showing that this Doppler shift, which happens, by the way, every day, there is a kind of a Doppler shift cycle, depending day, night, um, every 24 hours. But this time it was accelerated by the fact that it was just during the moon eclipse. So the frequency that they were listening in at 10 megahertz shifted slightly by a few hertz uh, up and down as the eclipse progressed. So this shows you how interesting the changes in the ionosphere can affect radio propagation of signals. So, uh, you know, we always say that WWV frequencies are very precise and can be used to um, calibrate receivers, for example, in equipment. But on the radio side, they do shift slightly every day. Uh, and they do shift sometimes from maybe 2, 3 hertz, which is not a lot. Honestly, 3 hertz... Nobody really notices the difference, but it is still a difference. And for very ac accurate equipment, sometimes that could be enough to be a problem. So uh, pretty cool. Uh, it was very, very in interesting to see this. Uh, one of the results of the Hamsai science experiments that went on during solar eclipse. So, you know, it's, it's uh, basically a quick shift. And they were saying that uh, the... Uh, rockets that were also sent uh, in the eclipse uh, path in the ionosphere could detect that as the moon was progressing, the ionosphere was actually uh, behaving like uh, the ocean. There were waves created within the ionosphere that could be detected with very sensitive equipment. So uh, pretty amazing, and pretty cool when you think about it. So I'll share the uh, link to spaceweather.com. You can go and check it out. And spaceweather.com is also a great, great place for any um, radio-related and, and solar activity-related information. If you enjoy my videos, please subscribe. Give us thumbs up. Thank you for watching.